Tressa, welcome to Spectrum Miami 2016. Thank you, Rick. I'm super excited to be here and display my series of work. It's been always a dream of mine to be able to represent my own work and be here, so thank you very much. Why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, your evolution as an artist. When did you begin uh, as a professional artist and how has that beginning changed the style of your work to what it is today? Well, I had a very early beginning. I started when I was a toddler and I won an award for a drawing that I did and was put in the, the Salt Lake Tribune. I'm from Utah. And just the last eight years has been more of the professional beginning. Before it was just a passion and I kind of kept it in the closet. And I decided to start showing it eight years ago and I had such a warm welcome from people and they loved my work that I decided to make it more of a full-time gig and it's been great ever since. So since the show has opened, has there been a, a particular piece that people have been drawn to? I have a piece called Miami Betches about the Miami party, party scene and it's actually right behind you. And I've been super excited telling people about this piece. It's just a fun one. It's a satire on the Miami party scene. And uh, this is your first time at Spectrum uh, and we're now going into our third, uh, third day. I'm wondering, when you look at the uh, collection of work, uh, the exhibitors that are here and the collection of art that is here, outside of your own work, has there been something that has uh, caught your attention that you've thought has been interesting in the show? Well, I definitely am a big fan of Garso. He has some beautiful work. He's a Greek artist here, and he brought some new pieces today that have been very inspiring for me. He calls them the muses. And, I mean, I still need to walk around and see. I've been stuck a little bit in my booth and see more of the other one, but it's, I mean, the art here has been amazing.